Hello, friends. Are you a carrot? Are you an egg? Or are you coffee? Take a pot, a pot of hot boiling water. Put the carrot inside. What happens? When you put it in, it's hard. It's stiff. It boils for a little bit and it becomes soft and mushy. The egg, on the other hand, starts out, it's hard on the outside, but it's soft in the inside. Put it in boiling hot water for a little bit and it becomes hard on the inside. Coffee beans, you take coffee beans and you put them into hot water, what happens? The coffee beans transform the water into a delicious drink with a good taste and a good aroma. In life, we are sometimes boiled in hot water. We have challenges, difficult times, and this is a time that we are all going through. Different people will react in different ways. Some people start out strong, macho, and then the challenge, the difficulty, the illness, causes them to become soft, mushy, sad, and depressed. Other people start out soft, kind, compassionate. But the challenge, the trial, the difficult time causes them to harden, to become stiff and hard inside. Their soft heart that they once had is now hard. And yet others... Take the hot water, take the challenge, take the burning fire that's trying to knock them down and they transform it into a good drink, a beautiful aroma. We're all going through difficult times now. Whether someone in your family has passed, whether there's someone who is ill, maybe you're having a difficulty in your relationship, maybe difficulty with Homeschooling your children. It's a tough time we're all going through. But it's up to us to decide if we're going to become sad and mushy or we'll become stiff and hard inside or this challenge will raise us up to greater heights that from this we will become stronger, better, delicious taste and good aroma. How can we become the coffee bean? Hashtag be the bean. When we recognize that what's happening to us is not random, but it's Hashem. It's God causing everything to happen. In this week's Torah portion, Tazria Mitzorah, we speak about leprosy. A skin disease that would happen to people and it had no... No medication, no cream that would take it away. It was a spiritual disease that was expressed on a person's body, on their clothing, sometimes on the house. Where did it come from? When people spoke lush and horror, when people spoke ill about another person, suddenly they would have this skin disease. In temple times, we were able to see how what's happening to us physically is directly coming from Hashem. You spoke lush and hurry, you spoke ill on another person, and suddenly there was a disease, a skin disease on your body. Today, there's a disease going around, and we, don't, we can't see clearly how it's coming from God. But it's just as true, just as true, that whatever's happening in the world comes from Hashem. Why God is doing this, we don't know. But we definitely know that what, we don't ask why, we ask what. What can we do with this difficult time, with this disease, with this virus? We can allow it to make us stronger, greater, and better than before. When you realize that it's Hashem that's causing all these tsaras that we're having now, we recognize that Hashem is putting it there and gives us the opportunity to raise, um, rise up to even greater heights. Be the bean. Take the hot water that's burning, the tsaras that's happening, and turn them into a good cup of coffee. 
create a good taste and a good aroma around you from this difficulty. We pray that from this difficulty on a global level, we reach the greatest cup of coffee with redemption and peace and the coming of Mashiach now. Amen.